Okay, I didn't think to make this video until I already had this stuff apart, but here we go. This is the shifter from uh, Power Wheels F-150. Um, I took it out of the truck and found these rocker switches on the inside that control everything, dual position, dual throw. Um, they have some pretty good quality parts on the inside. But the switch that was bad, this switch that was bad, the springs had rusted out. These two springs. This switch was a lot cleaner. The springs have no rust. I'm guessing the switch was already replaced once. Well, anyway, when I first uh, tested this switch, it was not working. So I took the switch apart. I'll show you how to take it apart as I put it back together here in a minute. But uh, I took the switch apart there was a lot of uh, iron oxide dust on the inside doesn't conduct electricity very well I'm sure so I uh, brushed out the interior with the paintbrush I used a pencil eraser uh, it was a small mechanical pencil eraser to get down in there and rub the contacts clean uh, don't forget to also rub the center bar right here clean that's where the power uh, comes in and goes out from. The uh, springs, I you can pull them right off of these little plastic stubs here. I brushed them off, and then I put the springs into a little cup of some mineral oil. I'm sure just about any kind of oil would do. There's a lot of ways you could do that. You could maybe spray some Rust-Oleum on them or something, but uh, I, put, I put a little oil on them and dabbed the oil off so there wasn't an excessive amount of oil and put the springs back in place. So then uh, you clean the contacts on the bottom of these pieces as well just with this eraser. You put them back down in there. You'll have to uh, arrange them with something small and pointy. Sorry for the camera work here. But um, this is not easy to do with one hand. Hang on a second. Got one of them. There's the other one. All right, sorry about the delay. So we've got the switches, uh, the rockers back in place. They're all cleaned up. And then we've got this piece. It snaps into place with tabs right here on either side. So basically you just kind of center it up so the springs go where they're supposed to go. And setting it down again, push it back into place. tabs snap back into their holes on the side and it rockers again. And if you want to test it out with a voltmeter, you know, you have connection between these two pins and these two pins and then you switch the switch and it goes from here to here and here to here. Uh, so you can test it out and make sure that your cleaning job was good enough. Then you just pop them back in place. Do these one at a time so you can make sure you have them uh, in there the way that you want them. They're numbered on the bottom so you can easily orient them in the same direction. Um, and I'll pop this back in. And the rocker switches go back to center. And you put this thing back together with screws. Pretty simple. Uh, to separate the rocker switch I just used you know whatever kind of small poking device that you have that's relatively safe and uh, you push in these tabs on the ends of the rocker switch and then kind of work the switch out and I, I used this uh, same poker it's a pipe cleaner I think on my uh, Swiss multi-tool and uh, I poked that in the sides of the rocker 
um, the switch top itself to pop the switch off. That's pretty much it. Thank you. Bye.